shop. The coin. I'm guessing I can probably sell those and they'll give me a good chunk of money. Nico, here for groceries? Yep. And you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, Lady Breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You ought to do something about your style, then. Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. <laughs> sure, I'd like to, but... How about a sail on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? Oh, I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh, what is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. Ouch. Velvet! You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special key. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! <laughs> Please. This is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. Oh. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. But Darn right! Jeez. <laughs> right, Luffy must be starving by now. I better hurry home. Talk to him. That's not who I want to talk Selica to. Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest. They're fantastic. Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. Mm -hmm. We could make them together and take them on the road. <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms. Oh dear. Would it make more money than hunting Fricklebores? Definitely, maybe. Even more maybe. so if you could lighten up a bit <laughs> in front of the customers. <laughs> then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Laffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on! Think big! Dream, Velvet! Dream! Think big? Hmm. No thanks. I want a peaceful life with Laffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. <laughs> then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. <laughs> Alright, uh, whoops, that's not <coughs> what I wanted to sell. <coughs> Excuse me, jeez. Uh, let's see here. Reduced by a small value. Broken artifact. Oh, price to sell, seven, I see. Uh, or fragment 11. Fine tempering powder.
stripes. Blade. That's all I can get right there. Oops. Equipment. Puppy. Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <laughs> They're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute. So I forgive them. Vapor rub to help with the wheeze. Gotta love my asthma. Hi, Celica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. Oh, wow. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. Welcome home, Velvet. Luffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo. You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. <laughs> See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch. And I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet. I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. Good. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh. You really can talk to Malakim, can't you? Yeah. Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. <laughs> I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. <laughs> I wish... I wish I could do that. <sighs> You'll get there, Luffy said. It should only take... Oh, 20 years tops. 20 years tops. It won't take me that long. <laughs> oh yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> right, 
cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know, but but just for today? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach <laughs> just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? Finished. you go not spicy hot but oh so delicious oh yeah i saw nico today and she had very important things to talk about she's coming over in the next couple days so be on your best behavior i will i'm glad you've got a good friend yeah we've known each other since forever still nico falling in love i can barely wrap my head around it laffy you know if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? <laughs> a g girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. <laughs> oh, and she's got to be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Right, Knock it uh -huh. off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've got to cook for you and Arthur since Salika is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what's so... <coughs> <gasps> Luffy, what's wrong? Oh, dear. Uh, oh, man, I missed out on those two. Son of a biscuit. Are you all right? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all, and it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you too. I want you to be happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you, too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah, that's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <clears throat> oh, what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. D oh, good. I can sell. Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Laffy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. The day before Scarlet Night, Sis went prickle boar hunting on her own. She's almost as good a fighter as Arthur, so I know those prickle boars don't stand a chance. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. Yeah. Maybe she should try to be more ladylike. Okay. Little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? <laughs> Good boy, you didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. <laughs> Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. And I'm sure that this Scarlet Night coming up is going to cause all kinds of damage.
Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Luffy? Where'd he go? You little... Where have you gone? You better not have gone to the village alone. Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. Luffy set been here? Uh, no. I haven't seen him. What are you hiding? Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Luffy set made. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Luffy, did he really copy all that by hand? have done it to buy that compass no though he gave it some puppy eyes told him I'd throw it in for free but he said that it would be a bad deal for me he's a good lad but not the merchant type so what did he use the money for I'm afraid my lips are sealed you'll have to ask him It. I saw Luffy set walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. Oh. Kid, you're causing trouble. I know. Hey, Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Night! I remember the moon turned red seven years ago. But what is it anyway? It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's sins. You sure know a lot about it. Luffy said taught me, just a few minutes ago. You saw Luffy? Where'd he go? Actually, I don't know. Sorry. Aww. I was going to have them join the search, but they won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. Have you seen Luffy set? Nope. Can't say that I have. All right. Let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well, he refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. <laughs> he likes reading difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques. And exotic farming methods, too. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, no, maybe, maybe not. not. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way. Not happening. Even if he gets better, I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. 
I couldn't handle it. I would worry and be lonely. <laughs> All right, off to the forest again. I was just taking a break. Oh, you little... You know better than this, Luffy said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? <clears throat> I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean too, don't you? Huh? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. D yes, ma'am. <laughs> Don't piss Good. off, big sister. It's off to the cape, then. Hooray! we went out together to pick princessias on the morning of Selica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the Cape. Right. Because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You <gasps> ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's quite the guy. That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. But down the cliff from where you were, a lone pair of princessia were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in, and it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what Princessia flowers signify? Uh, an irreplaceable treasure, and wishes for good health for many years to come. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely, Luffy. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, sis. Uh, 
thought that was another pity, but I guess not. Oh. How about I make you some apple boo when we get home, Luffy? Apple boo? What's that? Grated apples. Whenever I caught a cold when I was little, Celica would make it for me. It's sweet and tart and juicy and crisp. Eating it always made me feel better. Well, apples are good for you. But what does the boo mean? When I was a baby, I would always say boo-boo when I wanted to eat an apple. <laughs> so that's where the name comes from. Uh. Wait, you called apples boo-boo? You must have been a strange baby. You used to do the same thing. When Celica and I heard you, we laughed so hard. Uh. Boo! <laughs> This place never changes, does it? It does too change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Velvet. Thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. <coughs> hey, Luffy. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well... If they didn't, they couldn't catch food, or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Uh... Oh dear. A demon! Oh, hi! Luffy said, run! No matter how much it hurts, run! Velvet! Don't be scared. You can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't! Go! Oh, this one is. Why is a demon here? No! I don't want to go alone! You have to! Don't let your feelings get in the way, or that thing will kill you too! But please! Go! Please don't tell me I have to get. It's okay. It's just like Arthur said. But I have to do this. Oh. Stop! Face me, demon. No, kid, get out of here. Oh, this one ends well. Oh! Luffy! Velvet. Oh, he bought the comb for her. Is this... why? Just in time, Arthur. 